What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. A new segment for the channel. It's called the AFL Feel Good Story of the Week and well, we're starting it basically halfway through the season but nonetheless, we're all going to be focusing on the good stuff that's happened throughout the previous round and round 12 just happened and there are a few uh, different incidents that did happen across the weekend that made a lot of supporters feel good and uh, well, it got people up and about and got people talking so we're going to pick one of those events and go through it and see why it is the feel good story of the week. So without further ado, let's see exactly who became the feel good story of round 12. I must say there were a few candidates. And I think there is a clear standout, and we all know what it's probably going to be. You've seen the thumbnail anyway. But there were a couple. And uh, a personal favourite of mine was uh, Aaron Norton kicking a bag of six against the Crows, who are quite hapless at the moment. And um, the title in the advertiser was Norton 12. And I thought, well, that was a feel-good story because, well, it made me feel good about myself because Port Adelaide got smashed on Friday night. But to see that Monday morning, well, that was, uh, yeah, that made me feel good. So uh, probably not everyone's cup of tea especially Crows fans, but I know Port fans were pretty uh, pretty happy with that one. So that was a, an honourable mention. Another one was Elijah Taylor. He uh, got, uh, well, broke some COVID restrictions, got banned for the, uh, the rest of the season, unfortunately for the youngster. But the story behind it is what is so impressive. His 18-year-old girlfriend climbed two fences, ran through a golf course, and uh, wanted to meet up in the hub with Elijah. And, um, well, they got, uh, they got, they got, they got their wish. Unfortunately, they got caught out, but it's the, it's the love story around it. You know, they couldn't help but not be apart from each other. But it wasn't quite enough to be the feel-good story of round 12. A bloke by, na by the name of Jack Nunes put Carlton into hysteria against the Fremantle Dockers. Well, I'm not going to explain it. This is it. After the siren to win the game for your club. Wasting no time, Jack Nunes. Set shot. He strikes it beautifully. He's got it. Oh, the Blues oh, win it. Shit. Jack Nunes, after the siren, has won the game for Carlton. That is unbelievable. It was quite possibly one of the ugliest games of football I've seen. The One of the worst low-scoring affairs you'll watch, but the ending. The ending just got rid of all the other hundred or so minutes of football that we watched to get to that moment after the siren from that angle under that pressure. We'll talk about the build up in a sec. For Jack Nunes to slot that with a security guard that couldn't be bothered moving, a photographer that was in his way and all these cords and cables and just no room to breathe. To then just flick the switch, run in and bang the goal. It's, yeah, it's every kid's dream. Um, and as a Port fan, you know, that, all, that I think it just about topped it top Robbie Gray, let's be honest, you know, a kick like that after the siren, after all the build-up that's happened. Carlton have got a 50-50 at the moment, they've lost one after the siren against Port, and then they've beaten Fremantle after the siren, with Jack News kicking one of the best goals. That is goal of the year. Anyone that suggests that a goal of the year is a banana snap or something from the boundary, a torpedo, whatever. No, nothing beats a pressure kick from 45 out on a very difficult angle to slot that as a right footer. That is goal of the year. And Carlton fans will agree. I think most people should agree. You know, that's that's next level. You can't, that's a dream. And if you slot one of those, you're in the record books for history because not many of those happen too often. We've had two this year as well. But let's talk about the build up to it. Obviously, um, the pressure was there. We had, I think it was Harry Mackay that had the snap on goal with his left foot. Uh, shanked it completely. No, I think most people probably do that on the left foot, unless you are a left footer. But then Liam Jones takes a mark in the other pocket, has a defender's kick for goal. I'm a defender, so I know exactly how he felt when he kicked it because that thing bent too early. Missed basically nearly everything, snuck in for a point. And then Fremantle come out. They looked likely that they were gonna seal this one home. And I think it was Tabner that knocks it out of bounds, gets paid deliberate. Now, in my opinion, that is deliberate. You can't do that. That's that's what deliberate is in for at the moment. And yeah, 
you know, that's that's deliberate, that's fine. Then Carlton quickly play on, I can't remember who it was that uh, went for the smother, obviously didn't get the smother, and uh, hit the Carlton player head on. It was a free kick. Now, the AFL's ticked off the free kick and, you know, the downfield um, free kick as well because obviously the ball was passed and this has happened after the kick, but they didn't tick off the fact that Jake, Jack Nunes was the one kicking for goal. I think it was supposed to be Gibbons. So, for that, that's, that's the story right there. Jack Nunes, it wasn't even his kick. And he's taken the kick and he's put Carlton into hysteria and the rest is history. It's just stuff like that that's made 2020 such a unique year. And people that talk about how football's become garbage and how it's just not to the standard that we all expect. You know what? It's the standard of 2020 and it's the standard that we've had to deal with all year and it's produced some absolute ripper games, ripper finishes, and you can't take football for granted. Football is good. Jack Noons, his kick was very good. And that is the AFL feel-good story of round 12. Well, thank you very much for watching uh, this new segment on the pair. So make sure if uh, you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below and uh, what you thought of Jack Noon's goal of the year. Goal of the decade, I reckon. 2020's just started, but it's goal of the decade, hands down. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, we'll uh, keep tracking these feel-good stories each and every round until the end of the season. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more AFL Feel Good Stories and Port Adelaide content as well. My name is Anthony and as always, can the pair.